Today on the show, making electricity out of thin air, Chinese people can't write anymore, and California knows where your children are. This is TechSpace. Nikola Tesla's crazy electroshock-induced dream of collecting electricity from the air itself is now closer to becoming a reality. Scientists at Brazil's University de Campinas are studying how water droplets in a humid atmosphere gain and lose charges when put in contact with conductive particles. Dubbing this occurrence hygroelectricity, these scientists foresee the ability to capture electricity from a humid atmosphere and even be able to prevent lightning strikes. The prospects for anyone actually being able to say the word hygroelectricity without being annoyed at a bunch of Brazilian scientists remain dubious. In the end, it's hoped that hydroelectric energy collectors will one day rival solar cells as the dominant way in which we power all of our calculators. Asian written languages, besides funneling millions of dollars into the tattoo removal industry, are comprised of tens of thousands of unique characters which billions of Asian kids memorize in an effort to make your parents even more disappointed in you. But as computers and mobile phones wean people off of handwriting and onto alphabet-based input systems, the youth of both China and Japan are finding themselves able to recognize but not actually write many basic characters which often have significant cultural history linked to them. The most accurate English translation of this Chinese word for character amnesia enduringly translates to take pen, forget character, and can also refer to how Jackie Chan signs up for his movie roles. Maybe you write a poem about this. And finally, it's nighttime somewhere. Do you know where your children are? Teachers in Richmond, California do. School officials in the city have spent $50,000 in federal grant money on a radio tagging system which will provide them data on preschoolers' locations, attendance, and even whether or not they've eaten. To the disappointment of all of us picturing hundreds of unsuspecting four-year-olds getting shot down, tagged, and released, the RFID tags are just being embedded in the children's clothing. Lame. School officials say this system will save the city thousands of hours of staff time, implying that the city of Richmond spends way too much time trying to remember where it its children and they're not feeding them. Well, that's it for the show today. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, rate our videos, and follow us on Twitter. You can also email us at mail at textbank.com. I'm James Papadopoulos, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, we could put a different body on me. Like a giant burrito. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Alright, here roll. Translates to Take pen, forget character, and can also refer to how Jackie Chan signs up for his movies. Woo!